ministers, ambassadors, mayor, distinguished guests, members of the Jewish and Ukrainian commu communities, I would like to say before I start, I'd like a minute of silence in honor of President Shimon Peres. Please rise. Thank you. I want to welcome you tonight to a dinner which remembers a terrible event and a very dark part of history. Tomorrow, we will all gather at perhaps one of the most infamous pieces of ground in the entire world, Babi Yar. Will we remember the brutal slaughter of tens of, tens of thousands of our people, killed for one reason, because they were Jewish? But at the same time tonight, we also celebrate the resilience of the Jewish community of Ukraine. And we look ahead. I particularly want to thank President Poroshenko for hosting this important event tomorrow. This could not have happened without his leadership and without the support of the Ukrainian people. And for that, I thank you. After 75 years, the ravine, the ravine just outside of Kyiv now looks peaceful and quiet. But 75 years ago, it was certainly not peaceful, and it was not quiet. In a brutal war that was filled with terrible, terrible crimes, really inhuman crimes, the mass slaughter of the Jews of Kiev and others at Babi Yar that was organized by the German army still stands out. And while Babi Yar was organized by the Nazis, there were willing helpers in the Ukrainian militia. But this happened all across Europe. In almost every occupied country, local people helped the Germans. They helped the Germans round up their Jews. In some cases, the locals were even more enthusiastic in their killing than the Nazis. And that is what happened at Babi Yar. 75 years later, we are here to remember everything. And we're here to learn of the lessons from this horror. But at the same time that we remember Babi Yar, we also remember that there were Ukrainians that joined the Red Army and fought the Germans. There were Ukrainians that risked their lives to save their Jewish neighbors. And we're here in Kyiv for one more important reason. We are here to celebrate the rebirth of the strong Jewish community in Ukraine. This rebirth is nothing short of a, than being a miracle. Just 25 years ago during the Soviet era, Jews here in Kyiv were not allowed to practice their faith. And they were singled out by the Soviet government because they were Jewish. Jews could not teach their children 
about their religion. Jews could not study. Jews could not pray together. They could not celebrate any of the rituals of their religion without fear of being thrown into prison. But at that time, there were many incredibly brave people who stood up to this intolerance and risked everything, their jobs, their health, and what little freedom they had because they wanted one basic human right, the right to choose their God and practice their religion. We call them in America refuseniks because they refuse to give up their Judaism. They refuse to surrender to the Soviet regime. And we are still in awe of their courage 30 years later. So tonight, we mark this tremendous change. We see a thriving Jewish community here that celebrates bar mitzvahs, weddings, and brit milah. There are Jewish schools where Jewish children learn. Parents no longer fear when they teach their children. Who would have believed this? We also want to thank the Ukrainian government for its continued support of the State of Israel. We see the tide turning. Prime Minister Netanyahu talked about this at the UN this past week. Countries are breaking with the old Soviet bloc and the Arab states, and they are no longer just condemning Israel. Ukraine was ahead of this trend, and all us Jews greatly appreciate this, and we say thank you. In a way, this dinner is mindful of an important Jewish tradition. We cannot forget the tragic and brutal killings that took place here 75 years ago. We remember the difficulty that Jews faced here under the Soviet regime. We remember the dead, but we are Jewish, and we always look forward and hope for better times. And we're here tonight in Kyiv with a strong and growing Jewish community. That is what we celebrate tonight, the miracle of the rebirth of the Jewish community of Ukraine. I would like to congratulate Ivan Zuba for receiving the being recipient of the Shetitsky Award, an award that honors this man's great moral courage. To all the members of the Ukrainian Jewish community here in this room, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for all your important work that you do. And never forget, there is a large organization with representatives around the world called the World Jewish Congress. It will never forget you here. It will always support you and it will stand with you. Thank God and God bless you all. Thank you and I'd like to wish you all a happy new year, Shana Tovah.